there's no way to get that out. And it pins the brake wire. Okay, let's stop it right there and rewind to the day before. We just left Houston after spending the holidays with family and we decided to kick off 2020 with boondocking at the beach in Corpus Christi. I was hesitant to do this because we don't have a four-wheel drive truck and putting over 16,000 pounds on sand with only two wheels turning uh, had me concerned. And sure enough, I got myself in trouble. Entirely my fault. Now, if you look where I decided to park, I put the entire driver's side on soft sand and before I even turned the engine off, I knew we were in trouble and it was going to sink. But we just left it at that and figured we're going to deal with it in the morning. The next day we got up and we were getting killed by mosquitoes. I mean, the mosquitoes were the size of half dollars. So yeah, I'm not wearing that hoodie because it's cold outside. I'm wearing it trying to keep the mosquitoes off and it didn't help at all so the major issue we had was the truck was just burying itself there was just too much weight now a gentleman stopped by with his truck and offered to pull us out and that was the moment i realized we had no tow hooks yeah apparently half ton trucks usually don't come with tow hooks, at least not in the RAM world. Why you wouldn't put tow hooks on the least capable truck, I don't understand, but whatever. Um, the only way we were going to get out of this situation is I needed to disconnect the truck from the trailer and realign the truck in such a way so the back wheels were on um, more compact sand. The issue we had was that every time we put the front jack on the trailer down, the trailer just kept sinking more and sinking more. So as a precaution, I put in an x chuck, which I forgot. Yeah, not one of my best moments. He forgot the x chuck. <laughs> Is it? You sure? Thank goodness there was no damage to the tire. There was actually no damage to the brake wire either. Um, I just was freaking out in the moment. I was waiting in the undertow Set adrift with featherway light bulbs Unaware of where my heart would flow I was waiting in the rest of the day actually turned out to be pretty cool. We ended up going to the USS Lexington. And if you're a history buff into ships, military, or airplanes, this is definitely the place to explore. Parking with the trailer was actually really easy. We parked right underneath the highway and were only a couple of steps away from the ship. Losing my direction My bearings have me south of home I've been wrong before 
I was waiting in the undertow Set adrift with fed away light bulbs Unaware of where my heart would flow I was waiting in the undertow I was amazed on how many levels we were allowed to explore on the USS Lexington. They have done a phenomenal job, not only on the flight deck, but the hangar, the engine bay, and going through quarters and everything else in between. Um, a lot of hands-on stuff too. Braxton was in love. Trying to make something out of nothing, you know He never wanted silver, gold, or the finer things Just a wife and kids, a home in the American dream Oh, how you gonna step in line? Oh Big windshield or a plane, not a TV screen. Don't you need the road to tell you who you really are? Find out whether or not a man could ever change his star. Now we didn't get any great shots from the outside because it got foggy bad, but when we walked back to the truck, I did get this shot. This one definitely goes in the books as one of the most memorable day of 2020. At least that's what we thought at the time. So thanks for watching and happy travels.